So here we go, it's time for the Wayback Machine. We're gonna set it for 1985. This is the Na 85 National PAL Tournament, Police Athletic League Tournament. In the gold top with the white headgear is Eloy Montano, representing the Albuquerque, New Mexico PAL. His opponent in the dark top with the white across the middle and the dark headgear, that's Adrian Rivera from Corpus Christi, Texas. These are lightweights in the ring. And you can see both men getting off to a good start here. Eloy Montano being pretty aggressive. Look at Rivera <laughs> banging on the body while Eloy has him tied up. The referee tells him to, to score with the uh, white portion of the gloves. He gets a little warning there. Now you see both men not really scoring well in that exchange, not real clean. Eloy Montano, a very good boxer from New Mexico, another one of those great hideout boxing, boxing gym uh, boxers. Eloy Montano, who is now, of course, a great professional. He's been a little, little bit inactive lately, and uh, folks around Albuquerque are hoping to see him uh, in action soon. Now you see both men lowering their heads and throwing shots. There's a good left hand from Montano. Referee gets a little angry because uh, Montano threw a shot just a second after his command to break. Now another warning for lowering the head goes to Rivera. This bout scheduled for three rounds. This is the 1985 National PAL Tournament. Adrian Rivera letting his hands go here. Montano answers back, and you notice Eloy Montano is a good body puncher. There's a good left hook from Eloy Montano, and a good right hand from Montano. Some good, solid shots from Eloy, doing some damage to his opponent, Adrian Rivera. Montano lunging in, but Rivera ducks down, gets out of the way. Adrian Rivera, though, is staying busy. Tries an uppercut, doesn't connect. Now Montano answers back with his own uppercut and a left hook. Good combinations now. Eloy Montano starting to warm up. Oh, and a good right hand from Montano. You notice Eloy Montano, like I said, a good body puncher. Something about those hideout boxers, they love that body work. Wild right hand. Here's a good left hook from Rivera. Both men in close now. And there's the bell. That ends the first round. Good action round. Hard to score. Uh, maybe a slight edge to Eloy Montano out of the Albuquerque PAL. But um, good action. Pretty good. Pretty even round. Again, you see the left hand from Montano. He's just a little bit shorter than his opponent, but... He uses it to his advantage because he gets inside and he bangs to the body. Now a slight little warning for the um, elbow or something from the referee to Montano. 
Amateur boxing, you'll notice the referees are very fussy. Any little infraction, anything, and you will receive a warning. Montano hold, holding a little bit with the left hand, and Rivera can, just goes ahead and bangs on him. Referee gives a warning to Eloy Montano. This is the second round. This bout scheduled for three rounds in the amateurs. Now you see Rivera banging into the body. Montano just standing there taking it. Now he comes out firing. And he gets out of that position. Notice the amateur referees usually look like an ice cream man or something with that white suit. I always want to go up them and go up to them and ask for a bomb pop or something. Now Adrian Rivera starting to bang, and uh, Montano better do something because he's he's getting banged on. Here he goes with a little inside. There you go up the middle. Eloy Montano, some good work again, right up the middle now. Uppercuts and hooks. Rivera coming back to the body, and Eloy Montano. You can see Montano a little bit stronger. Good right hand. His punches are sharper. Rivera may be throwing more, but when Montano throws, he lands. Look at that. Good combination. Once again, we thank you for joining us here on the Eight Count Boxing Hour, and we hope you're enjoying this look back seven years ago. 1985, the National Police Athletic League Tournament. One of our own fighters, Eloy Montano from Albuquerque, in action against Corpus Christi, Texas' own uh, Adrian Rivera. And there's the whistle for the end of the second round. We'll move into the third round now and take a look at most of it. We won't get the whole third round, but we'll get most of it here. You see Danny Romero working the corner of Eloy Montano. And you see Eloy getting ready to go out for this third and possibly deciding round here. This is a close match, and this, this round could decide it. And you see Montano coming out aggressive, landing some good left hooks. Adrian Rivera throwing those wild hooks, trying to work from the outside, and Eloy Montano just shoots up the middle and tears him up. There it is right there, a little left hand, and a big right hand Ch chases Rivera back into the corner. Another warning from the referee. And again, Montano coming in with that jab. I think if he'd jab a little more, he'd be a little more effective, but he's, he's doing all right. Now Montano doing some damage to Rivera. And the ice cream man gives a warning to uh, Rivera. Here we go now, exchanging again. Eloy Montano, Adrian Rivera. The ice cream man breaks him up. I just put my thing back. Now Montano with a right-left combination. Rivera looks a little tired. I think he's about had it. Montano goes to work on him now with an uppercut and a left hook. Rivera ties him up. Juice, Eloy. Boom, right hand from Eloy Montano. Left hand. Back with a right-left again. Another right-left. Big third round, I think Eloy Montano has pulled it out. Let's get the call from the uh, ring officials right here. Winner in the red corner, Eloy Montano. A big victory for Eloy Montano, and thanks for joining us on another eight-count boxing hour.